From the Opel Co Studios in Oklahoma City, this is an OSU update with John Helsley. I'm Jenny Carlson. John, not the sexiest of discussion points when you're talking about football, but offensive line for Oklahoma State heading into the fall has got to be one of the biggest areas of concern. Guys hurt, guys being replaced. How do you size up the offensive line right now? Yeah, not a sexy topic, but always a big topic when things go wrong, yep. which for a while last year it did. They had to kind of remake their offensive line. They weren't running the ball well for a period, and then things came together and it was all fine. Well, here they are in transition again. Both of their projected tackles were injured, did not play in the spring, uh, are hoped to be back. Uh, it's not a given though, and so they've got a lot of young faces in there. It's really right now a big unknown and an uncertainty going into the season. Well, obviously another change is change in coaching, and Joe Wickline, the longtime offensive coach, seen as a guru of that position. He leaves for Texas now, Bob Conley, a relative unknown, takes over. Does he change the philosophy of offensive line at all? He is changing the philosophy, and, and some of the guys that I talked to, Daniel Koenig, who's the most experienced offensive lineman still with the team, uh, he kind of likes hearing a new voice for a change. You know, Wickline was there for 10 years. You know, sometimes the, the message kind of gets old, I guess. And, um, but he, he's changing how they approach things. He, uh, Daniel Koenig talked about the steps, you know, the, the things they do, the little intricacies of the offensive line. They're going to do more double team help for the tackles, which he likes being a tackle. And so there's a lot of different things that are going to be taking place here. Last, so you mentioned injuries. Devin Davis was projected to be the left tackle before the season started last year. He hurts his ACL. Uh, then you have Brandon Garrett with the gruesome leg injury in the Cotton Bowl. He was sort of platooning uh, on that offensive line last year. Okay, let's talk about those guys' health. If they're healthy, talk about is that a big if? How does that project? And if they are healthy, what is the starting offensive line look like? What do you, what do you project it as? I think if they're healthy, and, and that's an if at this point right now, by all accounts, it sounds like Brandon Garrett will be fine. He broke his leg in a couple of places in that game, uh, but, but it sounds like he's coming along fine and he'll be back. Devin Davis is going to be the question. Devin insists that he'll be ready, but it was a pretty significant injury. It involved ligaments and cartilage, and so it, it's pretty significant injury as far as 12 months and maybe more. And so. If he's back, you've got your two tackles in place that allows Koenig to move inside to a guard, and you have Chris Grisby at another guard, and you have a newcomer, Paul Lewis, at center. So you've got a young guy in Lewis, but he's flanked by some guys who have played, and that's your ideal offensive line. Right. Now there's a lot of scenarios that could take place, whether Davis is pulled out and Koenig moves to tackle, whether Garrett's available or not. There's just a lot of possibilities at this point. A few months to sort this out and for guys to get healthy and, and to improve even, but really right now in April still, uh, a big question mark. Definitely something to watch. Thanks, John. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.